Hi there, YouTube. So this is my 103 year old house. And in case you don't know, I just remodeled partly, partially, especially the shower bath area. It was a hundred year old bathroom, 103 year old actually. And I had a claw foot tub, which I could never clean under because it's a very, very small area. It was pushed, the tub was pushed up against a wall that did not have tile. It was just like a wall like this. It had very, very old installation and there weren't enough cross beams. So they had to put more cross beams. They had to put more installation, which I already had on hand, thank God, because otherwise it would be driving more to the hardware store every few hours. It was, especially the last day was the hardest day of all because that guy was working alone and he kept taking cigarette breaks every 30 minutes. I didn't think he'd ever get done. But yeah, it's pretty much done, but um, I'll just give you a quick look around and then I'll tell you what I still need to do, which I'm gonna do myself just to save a few hundred bucks, why not? So yeah, uh, well, the first of all, the plumber, I'm gonna have come back out in a few days and he has to uh, attach the uh, the faucet for the, the tub. Um, the guy, the construction worker guy that was here, he did put these on for me, but he said he didn't have the right tool for that. And then when I called the owner out because there was issues with uh, the grout wasn't fully done. So the owner had to come out and um, put more grout in because there were holes all along here. And actually he did miss a spot back here, but he did leave the grout with me. So I'm gonna have this removed it's way too big for this bathroom. It takes up this whole wall right here. And not only that, I can't really wash my face in the sink without getting water everywhere because as you can see, this thing sticks out like at least a good six inches out from the wall. And this is too big for the sink. I wanna get a smaller one of these so that when I lean my head down over the sink, I can actually have my whole face over the sink instead of sticking halfway out of the sink because of this thing especially I want to get rid of. I want to just put a mirror, a flat mirror that goes flat to the wall. And once I do that, I can get behind here and grout because he missed a lot of this area back here because it's almost impossible to get back here because of this thing's in the way. So yeah, I want to get just a flat mirror. I've been looking every day at the Goodwill and the hard or the um thrift store that is. I'm not going to buy a new one because they're really expensive. So I'm going to get a flat mirror. I'm going to put a shelf here. I'm going to get a smaller faucet here that only comes out, you know, a few inches from the sink. I already found one that I really liked and it's a single handle. So that, and, and then I'm going to get a cabinet for over here, not a mirror cabinet, just a regular cabinet. And that should be enough shelf space and I'll have my mirror. So that's what I need to do. And unfortunately, the curved shower rod that I wanted does not work on this bathroom. There's not enough room. So I just got the twist kind that it just twists. The guy, the owner came out and bought, he bought this for me. Actually, he was nice enough to buy that for me. Of course, I did spend enough money. But he did go to the hardware store and buy this for me and he put a, installed it for me and it's up there really good so that's good and then i got this shower curtain and i got another shower curtain that i bought with uh that matches it's like gray it's got gray and it's got this color beige little seashells and i might return it if it doesn't have the beige i think it has the beige but if it doesn't match the gray and the beige i'll probably end up returning it and just keep this this is good enough i got this on ebay it was really inexpensive. I think it was like I paid like three or four dollars for this free shipping. I really like this one. And I got this. I really like this. This is only three dollars with free shipping from eBay. It's very lightweight. It's it, it's it's like water resistant. You can step on this thing a million times and it does not get wet. I love it. It's worth every penny. Very lightweight. I hope it lasts because I really like it. And the window. 
I was going to put some kind of uh, frost, but I'm having second thoughts about that. I kind of like being able to look out my backyard. I mean, my backyard is private. Right now I have something hanging outside, but I think what I'll do is I'll get an awning, the kind you can open and close, but those are expensive. So I'm going to wait on that. And for now, I just keep that up there. I can still see outside a little bit. So yeah. And as far as the, well, I'm going to do touch-ups myself. And oh, and I got this. So once I touch the boards up, I'm going to remove this. This is to hang cows on, but I don't really like it. It's not really for that. So I found this at the thrift store and it was only $2.99. I don't know if you can see that. And I'm gonna once I I I'm gonna remove okay first I'm gonna remove this then I'm gonna touch up the board here, touch it up with some white paint. Then I'm gonna instead of putting this one on I'm put the new one on and that's gonna be for my towels. So I have my towels right here right next to the tub so when I before I step out on the floor I can dry my feet. And it's much much easier to dry your feet with this modern tub. With the clawfoot tub I never really could. And with this one, it's simple. You just, before you step out, you just put your foot right there on the edge and you can dry your foot and it's really, really simple and not dangerous. You're not gonna fall or anything. So yeah, that's about it. As far as the white floor goes, I'm now in the habit of leaving my shoes. As you can see, my shoes I wear around the house, I leave right here and I have socks on. And I'm in the habit now because if you walk on this white floor, which I'll tell you the pros and cons of a white floor. Pros, it looks nice. It's, it's bright. It's clean looking. It's bright looking. It looks modern. I do like it. It makes the bathroom look bigger. Cons, if you do not remove your shoes, every time you go in here, any little bit of dirt, okay, will show. So yeah, I do probably need to come in here and clean a little bit more um, from the construction work that was going on. You can still see a little bit of um, dirt and stuff. But yeah, um, just have to be in the habit of removing your shoes every time. And anytime I have a guest over, I gotta tell them, hey, take your shoes off before you go in the bathroom because if they don't, I'm gonna be in here every single day or every few days or whatever, or every few weeks cleaning and I don't mind cleaning it once a week, coming in here and cleaning really good, but every single day, no, I can't. I can't do that. That's, it's too much. It's becoming like an obsession. Like every day I gotta think about the floor. I don't like doing that. So would I still get a white floor? It's debatable. I don't know at this point. If it becomes too much of an ordeal to keep clean, then I'll be like, I wish I never got the white floor, but I don't have pets. I do have a muddy backyard though, so yeah, I do need to take my shoes off every single time. If I lived like someplace where there was no mud, like maybe near the ocean, maybe in a city where the, you don't have a backyard, yeah, sure, go for a white floor. But being in a, a neighborhood where you got a, you know, lawn or mud in the backyard, you know, dirt in the backyard where you're walking out every day to take the trash out, not so good unless you don't mind taking your shoes off every time. Yeah, take care. Bye.